I read that you beat your dad in a club championship when you were 13 years old. Are we really bringing Bob into this? Oh. <laughs> did, did, did he already hate you before that? Yeah, yeah, or definitely. Did, yeah. Because he not definitely his favorite does child. not. <laughs> That's kind of a My dick brother, move. yeah. Yeah, no, he had to. I think I w won like a parking space and he was all pissed off. He couldn't drive his <laughs> car in there anymore. Drive. Yeah, you didn't I was 14. Have I didn't have a license. So, what are you going to do? Put a bike rack? Like, That's crazy go? to me. So like, how many other people did you beat that day? Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's 10, 12. I don't know. Wasn't that many. They must have all hated you. Yeah, so, I'm sure they did. So, you got into golf because up. <laughs> yeah, you got into golf because you broke your nose when you're 10, right? Yeah. So, how's the story go? So, I was in a car accident and. For whatever reason, the lady that was driving, the nanny, whatever, ran the red light, just going 45, 50, T-bone this lady. I, my brother was in the back seat. Um, I was in the front and drilled my face against the dashboard. It was pretty good. Pretty yeah. much broke everything in my face. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't good. Um, and then just couldn't play contact sports for a little bit for like a whole year. And I was like, all right, I'm getting, I'm done with hockey. I'm going to take golf seriously, keep playing baseball. And then when I figured out I wasn't good at baseball... Just kept playing golf. So, yeah. have you given uh, that nanny like any of your like a commission off any of these big checks? I probably should. You absolutely <laughs> I probably should. should. Like, I actually don't even know. I haven't talked to her in maybe what twenty years. Yeah, What's interesting? Yeah. We need to do it. E sixty. Yeah. Like, you give it back. Yeah. You're like, hey, paying thanks. it forward. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being such a shitty driver. Yeah. You made me a champion. Exactly. She's probably got a little bit of residual guilt from that accident. She got. She was driving a car and got the two kids that she was supposed to be looking after yeah. injured, and I, she might not even know to this day what she done. Like the the, yeah, the spin that, that she like the tiny little effect, the butterfly effect she had. Yeah. in that intersection True. ended up changing people's lives for the better. Never looked at it that way. She would like to like hear that, from though. you. Did, yeah. she, did your parents fire her? I think so. Yeah, I, 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 I want to so. say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little little remember, did they yeah. know what was going to happen. This later. is a good lesson for all of us. Never fire anybody for doing something incompetent because yes, it might never be know really good happened. 20 years yes, from now. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, were you mad that uh, Tiger looking at your girlfriend became a meme? Yeah, you guys put on a shirt, didn't you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, I didn't she's know waiting for the residuals that. on that one. <laughs> that sounds like Does something. That, what, was that, what was going through your head after that? I mean, it was, it was, it sucks because social media, the way it works, like, if you just look like the perfect example is you can PJ, pause TV, right? Mm -hmm. PJ Tucker throwing his uh, warm ups on the ball boy and everyone flipped out. And it's like, dude, he, they have a running joke. We just took something out of context. <laughs> yeah. But that was a hell of a out of context. It moment. was funny. Yeah, <laughs> it was quite funny. Okay. She, I think she was a little pissed off about it. Yeah. She's big fans, but uh, yeah, that's all good. It's sorry. Yeah. I thought I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's on us. Um, are you a big Rick Riley fan? Not really. Okay. Well, I, I've taken the liberty of pulling some quotes from an article that he wrote about you last year. <laughs> so he, Rick Riley has a way with words. He is so good at description. He makes Jane Austen look like a 10-year-old with a head injury. So this is what he said about you. He said, um, no matter how many trophies he stuffs in his car trunk, people look at Brooks Kepka and think, hey, is that the guy who moved my piano? <laughs> Have you ever moved a piano? <laughs> yeah. No. no? <laughs> is it something that you think you'd, you've ever been mistaken for? Maybe. A yeah. piano mover? Yeah, maybe. There's some guy on the street. Okay, yeah. here's another one. Uh, thick as a vault door, Kepka looks like the guy who comes to repo <laughs> your boat. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? That is pretty good. Do you ever good. think about that? Being a repo, repo man? Repo man? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that repo show. There was a repo Dude, show. It was when great. you found out, did you... you don't, know don't, the, don't do it. He's uh, going what to are we about to say? He's going to ruin... Yeah, yeah, go ahead it was all ruin staged? It. Yeah, I know it was okay. staged, yeah. Because when it was I found out, it fucking ruined me. No, I know. It ruined me like for a little years. bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my it God. It was brutal. But it was still awesome to watch. Yeah, but... Like, At the time, I was thinking it was real, and then you get back, Me and too. Like, oh, mm -hmm. they, someone broke it yeah. to me. I was like, okay, well, there goes like the last three years of my life. Yeah, exactly. So, that and, and the Lizard Lick towing show. Yeah. Basically the same thing. It's just people taking other people's shit. I can't deal when that happens. Yeah. When people break those two things to me. Uh, one, one last one here yeah. from, from old Rick. His chest is like a beer keg and his arms like church organ pipes. <laughs> Does that describe you, do you think? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't even, know, I don't even know what church organ pipes <laughs> yeah, are. I, I really don't even know what to picture I, I think my the head. whole premise of this is that Rick Riley thinks you're hot. Yeah, you are hot. So. Yeah. I that's actually so, so. that's a big fault of yours is that Rick Riley loves you. Do yeah. you think there's some residual hate on the tour because you are good looking? Absolutely. L like I said, no. it's no, <laughs> it is because like uh, when uh, Jordan Speed takes off his hat, you're like, ha, 
That bald guy. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> like when Tiger does it, you're like, oh, that's fine. Phil's just the average man. has got some tits. Like uh, you come out there <clears throat> looking awesome. Got your muscles pumping and all this shit. It's too much. Yeah. You need I'll to tone, tone it back. Shave some <laughs> male pattern baldness in I your know, head. I know. It's not a bad yeah, idea. Just do something with it. You don't have the, the sick golfer's forehand t- forehead tan either. The one that's just like a, no, a white dude, stripe across oh, the top. You see the one that like Stuart Sink. Stuart Sink. Yeah, that's yeah, my favorite. Famous one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Is that why great. you grow those weird bangs to cover that up? Oh, there yeah. you go. Got them there. Yeah. 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 You're, yeah exactly. you're, you know what? That's your bangs, exactly why. Your bangs are pissing me off. Hey, Brooks, 2004 Alabama high school football called. They want their fucking hairstyle back, dude. <laughs> you do have the Bama swoop for an FSU I do, I guy. do. I know. I'm getting it cut tomorrow. Guy's coming. Tomorrow. Well, now you're going to have oh, the weird yeah, coming. Yeah, guy's coming He's tomorrow. coming He's here. He's coming tomorrow, oh, wow. yeah.